but you spent the last five years at Allen University. What made now the perfect time for you to move on? I just think it was a time, you know, you spent your time. I came and I did what I was supposed to do at Allen University, which was start their program and get them on the winning track. And I think it was time and I'd done what I needed to do there. So I think it was time for a new challenge, a new opportunity. And what made Clark Atlanta the perfect fit? Well, Clark has never won, you know, so only thing I could do here is go up. And I thought it was a perfect environment, perfect setting for an opportunity to be the change of culture of another program. One of your new players asked you, was Clark in a win now situation? And you responded by saying, if Coach Keaton can't win, nobody can. What makes you so confident in your abilities to turn this program around? Because I believe in me. I'm going to bet on myself. I'm always going to roll the dice. I believe in changing the culture. I have a process to what I do, and I believe in it. And it's worked for me everywhere I've been. So I don't think it'll have no different effect here. This is the fourth SIA school, SIAC school that you would be coaching at. What makes this conference so special to you? I love this conference. I think the competitive nature of it, the competitive spirit. I think the, the student athletes make a really good, you know, it's great culture. I just love everything about it. Last season, Allen University's offense was supercharged. You guys were 16th in Division II football. What pieces do you need here at Clark to replicate that success? We have to answer that when I get through evaluating that team. I don't know what pieces we need because I haven't had much time to look at it other than what I saw on tape. But I think we're not too far away from there. But I know the one thing we need is a quarterback. And you had the SIAC Offensive Player of the Year under center for you, David Wright, at Allen University. Could we see him coming to Clark Atlanta? That's TBD. I think we'll find somebody that if he doesn't come, we'll find some guys that can't get it done. Um, I'm not going to put that type of pressure on him or myself. I'll let him determine what he wants to do with his career. He's accomplished a lot in Division II football, and if he wants to come play for me, the doors of the church are always open. We're definitely going to keep our eye on that. And you spoke on, even though you haven't been coaching in Atlanta, you've been recruiting heavily in Atlanta when you were coaching at Allen University. What makes you so excited to now be in the ATL and have that talent be able to stay home? It's important because I think you win with this time. I think Atlanta has a rich coach. Georgia in general has a rich, you know, competitive spirit kids that want to win. So if you put them in an environment that they can win in, I think it works out well. What better place to stay at home so their parents can come to the game, be a part of their careers and do the things that we need to do. I just think it's going to be a great opportunity here.